all right guys welcome back to another video in this video we'll be seeing about a small application created using numpy opencv pygame and kinter so it is a gui based application so i'll just show you the output so this is the output and we have given a name to it driver cam it sounds cheesy but it works it works pretty good and this is the GUI this is the various functionality to it using buttons so I'll just show you the basic thing about the open CV so before watching this video please make sure that you know certain basics of open CV as well as Python because if you will watch this without knowing OpenCV and things so it will not work out because there are certain things of it that you need to know before starting into this so what is OpenCV? OpenCV is a computer vision library used in Python as well as C++ Java for certain functionalities like on detecting uh, video capture, object detection, then face detection, and various detections. Basically, it will capture footage from your um, primary or secondary device. And there are much more things you can do with OpenCV. So, for the purpose of it, read the documentation, which I'll link in the below description. So first read that documentation for the basics of it and then come on to this. So this is NumPy and uh, I'll show the output from how it works. So this is it. So what will the, uh, the first button will do is that it will just capture the primary device or webcam. As you can see, this is a window which we have created and if I press any button, in, in this case I have given Q, so if I press Q, it will exit. So it will, in this uh, button it will just record the webcam, nothing much, but in this it will just record and write. So what it will do is that it will uh, save the output in an AVI file. So let me show you the output. So as you can see, now I'll show you where it is saved. As you can see, this is the output. So it saves it in AVI file, AVI format, then this will do the same thing but it records, it will not record, it will just detect your face. So yeah, the square is the face and I have just labeled it and certain aspects of eye is also visible so this is how we detect the face. So better be in a proper lit up condition because it will not work good when the lights around you are not that great. So make sure that you have proper light conditions around you. You will just open open your cam and detect. It will not record. It will not write you into an AVI file. This will do that. So it will record, detect as well as save over here so this is the save file save save clip sorry yeah q exit I'll show you the output yeah this is how it works oh, the frame rate is quite high uh, you can just change it in the code and what this last one will do is that it will uh, detect as well as when you blink your eye it will detect and make a sound I'll just show you so 
so when you blink your eyes it will make this sound it's annoying but it works it works see it's annoying it will detect and this last button will exit so this is the code now i'll just show you some aspects of the code but before that prerequisites open cv basics and certain aspects of kinter and numpy2 and pygame2 so don't just come looking for this video like this only so i'll just create it uh, i'll just keep the output over here besides it so for this is the background this is a frame which i've used and this is a background within a label so in kinder you can not directly put a background image into a frame so you have to use it via a label so this is the label and this is the path of the image so whatever you use within this code just put it into a common folder or a file whatever you can name it so this is a file and file image demo these are the menu options with OpenC documentation and thing and uh, yeah this is the menu this thing tools and about this is for exit then these are the main functions which are embedded using the button so for OpenCV if you want to capture the footage of your primary or secondary device within your computer so you can use one or, or two of depending upon the device which you have so for me this is the primary device is the webcam of the laptop so just give it zero and this is the loop for running the video frames continuously so it's while it will run the frames like true will just run and return the capture I will read over here and this is for key uh, event handling so when I press certain key in my case in this case it is Q so if I press Q the window which is which pop pops up will just exit so if it's open cam and if I press Q it will exit and destroy all windows same over here in this it will pop up the webcam and it will record it will write into an avi file which is the sample file which i've shown before and this is the codec so for for cc look out for the documentation for better understanding on this codec and this is the frame rate so you can change this make it less like do it 10 or 10 or around 7 8 to go smoothly and this is the resolution of that output file so it's this is an inbuilt function by the way video writer video capture these are so uh, these are the inbuilt functions so this is the return frame and this is open cv color uh, rbg to gray inbuilt as well it will frame write and Yep, the key event so this everything is pretty much given in the documentation you just have to refer it's pretty straightforward and you'll just get it quite easily so now the important part is face detection so how it detects face so the face detection is also given in the documentation as well so in the last section of the documentation go for object detection of face detection it might be go for a uh, cascade detector so what is cascade it is nothing but an XML file which consists of certain attributes of face and yeah certain attributes of face eyes and the things which make a human apart I just created the cascade so this is the cascades eye cascade it will detect eye 
eye tree eye glasses sorry and this is the face detector and this is the beep which I have which sounds when it blinks and this is the custom blink cascade so you have to use this XML files this cascades which will be available in github as in raw file so you can use it directly by saving into a particular folder and using it direct you just don't have to worry about much of it and about the label part this is how you can label your eyes and face and things because in detection it will not label your object or things which you tend to detect so you just have to label it and this is the loop for uh, creating the square around your face so let people know that this is the face so this is nothing but x y with height so what it does over here is that x plus width and y plus height so it will just create a box this is a font and these are the color rbgs same for i and uh, for i if you are detecting i within the face so you need to first write the for loop for the face and the second portion will be this so it will detect on the eyes within your face are shown as I shown earlier just detect it within your face and this is same written frame and uh, even key action same for the um, blink casket capture alert and this is for the sound so this is a different aspect of pi game so you need to know things a um, bit of pi game too for how the sounding and things work in pi game so yeah look that too for general information and this is for the blink see like this is the eye detector and this is the blink detector same same procedure for each function and these are the buttons straightforward and this is the command embedded into it that's it so this is the entire code as you can see oh yeah just slow it down i'll just provide the code in the description below go check that out and do some changes within it so it will make more intuitive because this is too static and yeah this in its starting stage this is a code as you can see before seeing this I suggest you that uh, you should know the basics of Python OpenCV Pi game and NumPy2 so it will be more clear because if you just look this code without knowing the basics of those things it will be blank. so it will be blank and confusing so pretty I, I recommend you that uh, look the documentation before seeing this video so I will show you the output at last and yep this is a driver cam and this is the application this is travel cam pretty much of it and thanks for watching this video guys and talk to you in the next one